Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world unto the men, the prophets that are and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say shalom. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right. And this is in reference to this guy you see on this screen, Brother Polite, which was a uh, conscious, black conscious leader or whatever they say, motivational speaker. He was nothing but a nigga that scammed a lot of people out of money and and basically confuse and um, confuse a lot of you Israelites out there to follow this guy, to believe in this guy, to believe that he had the truth. And he was a longtime scoffer of the truth, a longtime scoffer of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And in his condition that he's in now, it, it, and it shows you, and it's not even about him. It's about fearing you. How about Shem Shai? Because this nigga didn't fear the Lord. He scoffed at the prophets. He scoffed at the doctrine. He scoffed at the Most High. He shot up the Bible. This nigga was a complete reprobate. All right. And the thing that what, what was going on with him in the news now, why he's in the news, is because he allegedly um, had sexual intercourse with his fourteen-year-old, his girlfriend's fourteen-year-old daughter. And it was a bunch of shit that 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 took place. I'm not going to even go into the story, but he didn't fear the Most High. Okay, he he scoffed at the prophets of the Most High. He scoffed at the names. He scoffed at the truth. Okay, he didn't fear the Heavenly Father. So look at the condition that he, he's in right now. Okay, look at look at his condition. Look what all that scoffing got him. All right, and he you know after he scammed a bunch of people in New York, I guess he went to California and was living up living up living big over there. Had cars and money and a bunch of wives and shit, and it, and it profited him nothing. Okay, because this nigga, he, he I guess he posted bail, but he's 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 facing a serious case because they supposedly they got DNA evidence on this guy. Okay, this guy uh, uh, allegedly, um, you know, uh, gave uh, this fourteen year old girl some type of um, I don't want to say date rape, but some type of some type of you know pill or or, or some shit. You know, this hey, but the, the truth is coming out. Hey. We're living in the last days where, yes, Esau is getting exposed, but two-thirds of our people, the wicked niggas of our nation that lead, let, that have led our people astray, they're getting exposed too, okay? All the people that followed this guy, all the people that gave this guy money and and and, and uh, uh, bought this guy's books and supported this guy's cause or movement, whatever, what are you, what are you doing now? What are you, looking, what are you doing now? You're looking like a goddamn dummy because this nigga who you held in high regard, he's showing you that he's showing you that he was nothing more than a wicked ass nigga. All right, so let me hop right into the scriptures. I ain't gonna spend too long on this lesson, uh, getting on this nigga. But hey, this has to come out because because it ain't about it ain't about him. It's about fearing the Most High. And this nigga didn't have fear for the Heavenly Father. These co black conscious niggas, they don't fear the Most High. That's why judgment is gonna come down upon them. All right, so a lot of our people that that dwell in that that black conscious. All right, black this, black this, all in the Egypt Egyptology and shit. It's, come, it's going to come a time where that shit ain't going to save you. This is the book of Galatians chapter 7, excuse me, chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right? Hey, you mock the prophets. You mock Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Oh, so, hey, yeah, you're, you're, you're reaping what you sow. All right? For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And this nigga, he 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 um sold towards his flesh, fleshly things, you know, shit of this world. All right, and 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 he, like I said, he he fooled a lot of people, fooled, fooled a lot of Jakes. All right, this nigga, it's people that's looking for this nigga, man. That 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 that, that he owes thousands of dollars. Okay, and and you ain't gonna never catch this nigga. Esau caught this nigga, but you're not gonna. A lot of these niggas ain't gonna get their money. OK, but hey, he thought, hey, this guy thought he was he, he was he was he was straight. He thought that, you know, the the uh, the wrath of the Lord wasn't was, wasn't going to come upon him. OK, but hey, and this is this is light work. This he, you got you, you 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 got trapped in a snare by by Esau. OK, but the real wrath of how about now is going to come down, man. OK, and who knows what's, go, what's going to happen with this guy. This guy may weasel his way out of uh, 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 getting time. All right, long as he pushes 
to take the MOTB or take the uh, the JAB, all right, and to 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 all of his you know his followers, okay, because that hey, Esau knows how to use niggas like this, all right, and, and this is nothing new under the sun. There's always been wicked niggas, wicked Israelites that uh, have led our people astray. This is the the book of Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So when he came up there and scoffed at the prophets and slandered their slandered the uh, the truth and the prophets and the apostles, okay, had uh, 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 some some wicked ass crip niggas about to um, tr you know trying to fight the brothers and and, and just it was on a whole smear campaign of the apostles. Over some over some shit that he don't understand that's in the scriptures that's righteous, okay. He thought that he was all good. He thought that you know, you know, uh, um, you know, just because you know he the, the the wrath of the Lord didn't come down on him, he he was good, all right. But that hey, everyone has to pay for their wickedness, all right. And, and this nigga is no different, okay. Uh, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that he shall be it shall be well with them that fear. The most high which fear before him all right and he, after that he got big all right really what, what what got him big was the truth that 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 he came down there and and, and you know so-called you know uh, uh said what he had to say and and and, and you know the, the 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 truth really made him big and then what did he do he like i said he went to california and and, and you know uh, 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 scammed a bunch of people out there. He had all these wives, and it appeared that he's living this, you know, great luxurious life. Because, well, because he's a wicked nigga. But hey, he, like I said, he never feared the Most High. All right. But verse thirteen says, "But it shall not be well with the wicked; neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High." And we bring this scripture out to go on, go go in on Esau, but we bring it out also to go in on two thirds of our people. Okay, because they're wicked, and their days are not going to be prolonged. All right, where they think that they done a bunch of wicked shit, and sh wicked shit, and got away with it. No, your days ain't gonna be prolonged because you th you don't fear the Most High either. Okay, let me grab this in um the Book of Matthew, chapter twelve, and uh, it's like yes, Mark, Matthew twelve and verse thirty six, and it reads, "But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment." All right, so everything that polite, all these scoffers, Sonetta, uh, all these scoffers uh, um, of the prophets have, have have said, they're gonna have to give account and their judgment. All right, the Most High ain't forgot. The men of the Lord ain't forgot. All right, and you know what's happening to this? What's happening to this Jake? This guy, pro, brother polite. It should be, it should be a warning to all you niggas out there that that scoffed at the prophets, that scoffed at the truth. All you black conscious niggas, hey, it's it's, it's not gonna end well for you. Okay, because Esau's coming down with, with judgment on your ass. This is Judges 10 and verse uh, 14. Okay, this is, um, uh, I'll start at 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. And this is the Most High talking to the wicked ass Israelites. All right, these niggas, Brother Polite and Sonetta, these niggas and their followers, they go follow after the gods of uh, 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 of, uh, of Egypt, uh, Ra and, you know, all this shit. Okay, but hey, at the end of the day, hey, nigga, go, you, you know, he's, I guess he posted bail, but go cry to uh, all the gods of Egypt and the gods of, uh, 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 of Ra and all that shit. Have them save you. Have them save you out of Esau's hands. All right. Verse 14, go and cry unto the gods which have, ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in your time of the tribulation. All right. And, and don't think that a nigga like Sarnetta ain't shaking in his boots because he, he, he's, He's got a lot of wicked shit he's done behind the scenes that's going to get exposed too. Like I said, man, Esau's not the only ones getting exposed in these last days. Hey, our own people, two thirds of Esau, excuse me, two thirds of Israel that, um, two thirds of Jake, two thirds of Israel that that have that are uh, led our people astray, have uh, uh, led our people down a path of destruction, have not told them the truth, not told them who they were. They're going to be destroyed too, right along with these, right along with these Edomites. Okay, but hey, these Jakes should know better. All right, this is Isaiah chapter nine and verse uh, sixteen. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. It's think about all the niggas that follow Brother Polite and Sidenetta. They, they them niggas is destroyed. All right, with everything going on with with the with the with the uh, the, the 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 Crown Royal, 
uh, 19 going on, uh, uh, with Esau about to shut shit down again. You niggas that you you Jakes that follow these guys, you have no refuge. All right, you you have you 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 have no um you have no covering. You're gonna be left out there bare. All right, and 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 Esau's gonna destroy us because you're already destroyed because your minds are destroyed. Your minds are destroyed because you're polluted with all that that that, that left hand shit, all that black shit that these niggas push, man. That ain't that ain't that ain't that, that there's no there's no righteousness in that. All right, what is the end game of black consciousness? To live in America and, and, and try to make it and, and try to get it back, what, what what what's what's the what's the what what's the uh what's the end game of that man? Because you're gonna give that shit right back to Esau. The end game of all these religions, all this black conscious shit, is, is just death. At the end of the day, it's all it all leads to to death. Okay, and, and the scriptures say that many false prophets are gonna rise in his last days. And this nigga was nothing more than a false. I even call him a prophet. He was just a false, wicked ass nigga. That, that led a lot of people astray. And, and he's destroyed, all right? And all those people that followed him are destroyed. And look at him now, all right? Yeah, he got bailed, but this nigga's in hiding probably. This nigga ain't about to make no public appearance and, and, and defend himself because all the facts about him are out, all right? So, hey, this is this should be a wake-up call to a lot of you jakes out there, that, you know, hey, 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 you better fear the most high because you'll be you'll be caught in a trick back like this nigga. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest manifest in your consciousness. All right, hey, we know the terror of the Lord. So that's why we're trying to persuade you, Jake, to turn from shit like this, turn from wickedness, turn from a uh, 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 black this. That's just nothing but darkness. Okay, Th this nigga's destroyed. This nigga's probably going, uh, probably I don't know. Like I said, he could he could make a deal. Or whatever, but he's he may sit in a cell and wait for a missile, or he may get out and wait for a missile. Either way, this nigga more than likely is going to catch a missile. And if you're led by him, if you all into that Egyptology shit, all right, you're going to catch a missile, or you're or one of these plagues that the Heavenly Father is sending, whether it's famine, whether it's uh, uh, pestilence, whether it's a sword, it's going to consume you. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Harakakwadash. Until next time, I say shalom.